Johnny. It's time to book. So I guess that's one of the ways in which I'm a little bit old school. Like there's a whole bunch of ebook readers out in the market. And our telephones can become books super easily. But there's something very special about the physicality of a book. Given that I'm a techno guy that's got analog synths and loves twisting knobs, it should come as a surprise to no one. Now, granted, there's some downsides to books. Like, for instance, having to type out a passage of a book and don't even get me started about the lack of command F to find something, except those who are amongst the righteous use control S. Glory to Emacs. But let me tell you, I'm a lot more comfortable taking a $20 book into the bath of me than, say, a $600 smartphone. And there's something that's been rolling around inside of my head, and it's almost sacrilegious. And that is writing in my books. Now, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I haven't done anything yet. I haven't put pencil to paper. But a good book should be a conversation between the author and the reader. Writing in books gives the reader a chance to have that conversation. Today, I'm going to show you the depth of my reading cue because I have some gems that I really want to share with all y'all. We'll start with Enfu, Cute Grit. Now, this guy is an artist who does this amazing, super kawaii, but slightly gritty style. It's dudes like this that make me so jealous. The fact that this one is even a thing is kind of fun. And I have fond memories of this book because when I first discovered it in the library, it was kind of sandwiched between the computer section and the spirituality section in amongst the Bibles. And when I first got exposed to it, I was too young to really understand what Zen was. You either know these or you don't. This should come as a surprise to no one. So this is what it says on the tin. It's something of a scholarly work on Vaporwave, but I can't help but wonder if it's really just taking the piss. This is a book from my childhood. It's a story about Mr. Plumbean whose house is like everybody else's, and then he discovers his own individuality, and it spreads like a virus amongst the street. Let me read to you a little passage. He's just like Plumbean, the people said. He's got bees in his bonnet. He's got bats in his belfry. Now, I know Katamari is old, but it is such a good game. If you have not played the game Katamari, go stop what you're doing. You could probably pirate it and run it on an emulator by now. So this is a graphic novel based on the story. It really captures the fundamental spirit clumpiness of Katamari while also managing to be its own work. Now, you've heard me say this before, but understanding how to make your brain a better brain, I think, is one of the coolest things in the world to do. And this is a book on how to do that. I kind of would have liked to see more studies behind it and behind each tip and the reasoning why that tip would work. And the book doesn't seem to deliver as much on that, but they're still worth it. So if you've already got the Mind Performance Hack book, this is an excellent companion. If you haven't got the Mind Performance Hack book, go get that first. This has been suggested to me by a number of people in a number of different fashions. It was most Recently featured in a video that one of the best podcasters in the world, Roman Mars, did, which you should go check out. It's all about why certain doors suck. In fact, you need to stop what you're doing right now. Pause this video and go subscribe to 99% Invisible because it is the best podcast. Coin check. Written by one half of the KLF. Hail Eris, all hail Discordia. No idea what's inside. Can't wait to get there. Either you know it or you don't. All right, what do you feel about ebooks versus paper? Am I a complete nutter to even consider writing in my books? What books have you got that you really love? What books have you got that you can't wait to dig into? Man, books are so fucking awesome. Let me know down in the comments below. And until next time, reading is fun.